Uh, so our talk, um, I'm with John Cherry um, and James Lee. We are looking at um, sort of lower input farming and lower, lower or minimal or zero till farming um, and then the effects that, that has on soil health um, and then you integrate that with livestock, um, reduced inputs, how we can still produce high performing crops with less soil disturbance um, and less inputs. So coming home to farm, uh, I wasn't allowed to walk back into the business with a, with a free hand. I had to come up with a business plan to allow us to continue and future proof, uh, future proof us um, going forwards without BPS uh, in a post-Brexit world. And part of doing that is looking at our situation. We farm on top of the Cotswolds on thin limestone brash. We produce seven and a half tonne of wheat in, a, in an average year. Eight and a half if I look at the yield meter in the bottom of a valley. I can't chase 10 ton. My agronomy life had spent me looking at, spent my time looking at chasing big yields, high input yields, high output yields. We can put high inputs in and not get high outputs at the other end. So the way of making us more cost effective was to remove those inputs uh, and look at a different way of, of achieving a seven and a half ton yield, but without having to spend all that money on inputs to make up the shortfall uh, in income from the lack of BPS. What we do on our farm uh, is very different to what John Cherry does on his at Groundswell, but we both have the same ends, we both have the same end goal, but we are both attacking it from a slightly different angle. John is very much zero till. I'm a heathen, we still have a large plough that occasionally gets dragged out of a shed for use when it fits our system. So having events like this where you have a mixture of, of speakers and ideas allows uh, the rest of the farming industry to look at at, at what is available out there and what people are doing and what, what works for certain people to work out what they can take home and try on their own farms um, and it's not a sort of a, a blanket approach um, from, from government or, or, or from a larger body saying you must do this and it will work for everyone.